everybody my name is Kyra on fire and today we are going to be looking into some extremely helpful beginner tips and tricks for enshrouded first tip is to pick your base location very carefully in the tutorial you'll be following at some point along the tutorial it will tell you to claim a spot for your base you can do this by placing a flame altar down and this will claim a cubic zone for you to build within. You can upgrade this space later on but this will be your main respawn and fast travel point. And in the beginning before upgrades you can only place two flame altars down in the world. So you probably want to pick a decent location for building when you pop one of these down. Note, when you upgrade your altar by getting shroud cores from the first boss it will increase your base's square radius and when you strengthen the flame it can buff you by upping your maximum time in the shroud, characters attribute bonuses and altar activation capacity which doubles the amount of flame altars you can now place down around the world from 2 to 4. The rest of the buff, much like Valheim this game has a comfort buff which you can increase by resting at your homestead or near the following warmth, shelter and comfort. Warmth obtained from a heat source such as a campfire or bonfire you find out in the world. Shelter being your house or perhaps you find a tent to stick under to on your travels. Do note the shelter buff also works if you're sitting and turns into a sitting buff. Comfort usually obtained by laying in a bed or being around furniture. The rested buff can actually be increased in level by putting more furniture items around your house. The rested buff is very important as this affects your stamina regeneration and the maximum amount of stamina your character has. Enhancing equipment is something you should 100% look into when it comes to Enshrouded. You will need to unlock your first NPC to access this, aka the blacksmith. And once you've gotten a blacksmith, you can access his crafting menu for the Enhance Equipment tab. And in there you can upgrade any of your weapons for runes. Runes are a currency you find around the world or can be obtained from salvaging items. Different rarities of weapons can unlock additional upgrade slots for your weapons, so you probably want to upgrade better quality weapons such as legendary or epic tier, which have 4 to 5 special ability slots available, in comparison to something rare that only has 3. When exploring around camps or abandoned buildings, you you should probably consider smashing up the place. This is because boxes, barrels and other miscellaneous furniture items can drop loot or nice items such as metal scraps which will be essential for progressing with your blacksmith and important for higher tier crafting recipes. Get a grappling hook and a glider as soon as possible. These are great items that you will need throughout the game of Enshrouded. They will help you around and in some areas you can't even get into them without a grappling hook. So obtaining these two will be extremely helpful in the long run when exploring. You make both of these in the workbench under the survival tab. Finding enemies is a big thing in Enshrouded. The world is not friendly, including ravenous shroud beasts and unruly campers in broken down villages. Thankfully, if you are taking a beating, there is an ability to parry and stun enemies in Enshrouded. You do this by blocking their attack just as they're about to hit you. This will make a clash sound and you'll be able to visibly see the enemy being stunned, giving you a chance to heal or get some hits in. My final tip is to get looting. Looting is an extremely important feature and a way of life in the game. There are many chests, dungeons and secret layers you can find loot within, so explode lockpick your way in, or find a sneaky trellis to climb up and go into locked houses. If you spend the time to explore you can find rare weapons, special armor pieces, and lots and lots of lore notes hidden around the world, as well as helpful items such as metal scraps that you can melt into metal sheets to get better items. But yeah, mainly for the cool loot, you can find all sorts out there. My favourite being a magical wand I found in a crypt that was legendary and it was my first ever magical item. But either way, those are my beginner tips for Enshrouded. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. If it was, consider giving the video a like and make sure to subscribe as there will be a lot more Enshrouded content coming out on the channel this month and the next. So I hope you enjoyed this video today. Thank you for watching. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.